Hello. Uh, 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 oh no. You want a bath? Hmm. Wait. Hey guys, it's me Sylvia back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. We are back in Canada today. I'm in my old beauty room, which is why you guys got this setup back here again. If you're an S Club member, you probably recognize what's going on back here. In LA, I don't yet have everything set up. So that's why you guys have just been getting that plain backdrop in the last few videos. But anyways, while I'm in Canada, you're gonna get this. Today's video is gonna be a lot of fun. It's kind of like a challenge type of video. I've seen you guys request this a bunch of times and that is the full face using only foundations. <laughs> Eye makeup, eyebrows, lipstick, foundation. All of it is just gonna be foundation, which is crazy, but also I'm really excited about this. Tina Young has done this on her channel. I think she's the one that came up with it. So I'll leave her video link in the description below so you guys can check it out. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to be notified when I drop two videos a week. I'll pop up in your subscription feed and say hello come watch my video without further ado let's get into trying to do our full face makeup using foundation let's see how it goes okay so i've got a couple of my foundation drawers just at the ready here don't mind this i had to cover it up before putting on any makeup because it's literally a giant scab i had a hydrafacial and it really just like scabbed over this giant zit i had and it's disgusting so to save your eyes i covered it up we're gonna have to skip it on primer because you can't prime for foundation with foundation so let's just start with our regular foundation base. I'm gonna use this little itty bitty one from NARS. It's one of the little samples that they sent in the PR box with the new natural radiant foundations. They sent me the full size bottles in darker shades when I'm more self tanned, but this is the shade I am right now because I am pale. I had to scrub off all that self tanner so I could do my laser hair removal treatment, but best believe tonight I'm gonna slather that self tanner on me again. So let's just put this everywhere. <laughs> all right, let's blend all that out. It's like a medium to full coverage, makes your skin look so flawless and it's a natural finish and it covers everything I need covered. So as long as you build it on problem areas. I don't look like this in real life. I think the light is playing me right now. Sure. Okay, now for concealer, I'm gonna use the same foundation in the shade Light 3, cause this looks like it kind of has a yellowish undertone and it's much lighter than my foundation. So hopefully it'll help to brighten. Ooh, let's see. Let's see how this foundation is as a concealer, guys. That might be a little bit too light. It's okay, it's a challenge. Blend. Oh, she light. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. This foundation has good concealing powers. It's a foundation for all things. Guess we're going for a super dramatically bright under eye. Let's pretend like we meant to do that. Okay, let's contour the nose. The nurse, why did I say it like that? I don't know what that is on my beauty blender. I tried washing it a hundred times and it won't come off. Am I still gonna use it? Heck yeah, I am. Heck yeah. I've been saying that so much. I need to stop, it's kind of embarrassing. Okay, I'm actually very impressed with this foundation as a concealer. She's got coverage, but she's still natural. This is just uncoverable. We'll stick with that word, we can add it to the dictionary. What did I do to my under eye? They're so bright. Whoopsie doopsie loopsie. Oh my God, you guys, this foundation is actually so bomb. It's very easy to apply and work with and you can use it as concealer. Okay, fix the lighting a little bit. It was making me look crazy. Like you see, if I block this, I match my neck. If I don't, I look like I have a mask. <laughs> Ask, excuse me. I thought I knew how to blend. Apparently I don't. So for brows, I'm gonna use Tarte's Clay Stick Foundation in the shade Rich Honey and Honey. Hopefully it matches my brows. Here we go. Honestly, the thought of putting foundation in my brows really grosses me out, but it's a challenge. Ooh, she too orange. Mm -mm. Next, the only shade that I think I have that will work for my brows is from the same collection that they just sent to me. It's a little watery. I wanted something with a little more thickness to it, a little bit more creamy, you know, so it could work like a pomade, but this is the only one that I have in kind of a color that would work. I know that this is not gonna give me brows that I like because I hate like a blocky brow. I always use really thin tipped pencils and barely fill it in because my brows are really thick as is. Okay, so we're just completely changing the color of my brows. It's cool. Why is it red? Maybe if we just color it all in, no one will notice that my brows are a different color than the actual hairs. What is that? Oh my God, oopsie. We'll say it's a little harder to control because it's so slippery. It's just like gliding everywhere, but I mean, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. That brow's looking scary. This brow, um, it's orange. They're orange. Let's Let's brush and hope that it helps because I'm not feeling what's going on right now. Oh, that is kind of helping. Brush, 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 brush. It's still red though. There's no helping that. What's going on here? It was just so slippery and I couldn't control what was happening. So that was my bad. Also the color's a little off. Let's move on to priming the lid and hopefully I can clean it up a bit. So I'm gonna 
prime prime my lids with the same one that I use for my face. I'm losing track, like maybe it's the same one. There's so many foundations on my desk, I don't even know anymore. Let's try and clean up the brows a bit, especially this one, that one's crazy. Okay, I don't know what is going on here, but I cannot get an even application. Um, why? Oh, that's oily on my lid. That is oily on my lid. That would not work well as an eyeshadow primer. And it's transferring all over my finger. And my under eye is creasing like crazy. Meme this right here, screenshot, meme, send it to me on Twitter. Let's move on to try and do some sort of eye look. The brows I'm kind of disappointed with, like they look crazy but we'll talk about that after. So for the eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Clay Stick Foundations. It's like a thicker, creamy consistency though, so I'm feeling like it's not gonna just completely sheer out like the NARS one just kind of did, and hopefully it'll give us a little bit more color and we can work with it. So this is the shade Tan Sand. I'm hoping it'll be a cute <laughs> little transition slash crease shade. Mm -hmm, exactly what I was imagining. And I'm gonna apply using this fiber brush because it's really good for creams. Should we highlight the brow bone? I feel like that foundation Foundation gives us a nice enough shine there that we don't really need to. Oh, this is a cute transition shade, faux show. And it's really easy to work with. It's just blending out like a dream. Using a cream foundation was definitely the right call on this here. Okay, that worked out well. Let's move on to the next shade. So now I'm gonna take Rich Honey and just pop that little deep dark brown right on the outer Kona. Ooh, what is going on you guys? This is actually turning out pretty good. I'm like taking this so seriously. I really hope it turns out good. So now I'm gonna use the shade Fair Beige, which is a much lighter shade. And we're gonna just clean that up there, cut it a little bit. Oh, this is turning out pretty good if I do say so myself. I thought they would be like way harder to work with, but definitely using the cream sticks helped a lot. Look at it, that blending is even so on point. Wow. I'm gonna use the same shade that I used on my crease to blend out my lower lash line. Oh yeah, and smoke it out a bit. Okay, so the eye look is done and I'm feeling it. I'm gonna set everything though because they're creams, it's literally going to turn into mush if we don't set with some sort of powder. So this is not cheating, okay? This is not cheating, this is necessary. Using my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. Okay, so that kind of took away the color a little bit and washed it out a bit, but that's fine. I'm gonna set the rest of my face at the end because it's looking really shiny, but we gotta still use more foundation on it, so <laughs> we'll wait. And I'm gonna also just put some mascara on my lower lashes. This is just necessary. I mean, you can't use foundation on your lashes, so gotta do what you gotta do. So now let's contour and bronze up the face a little bit. I'm gonna use the same Tarte Clay Stick Foundations. This is the shade Rich Honey. So that'll be a bit of the contour and then I'll use Deep Honey as like a bronze. Woo. I like this foundation actually for cream contour. That's why I kept these darker shades just because it's so creamy and like easy to blend out. As an actual foundation though, I don't know that I like cream stick foundations on me just cause I have really oily skin type. That blended out so good. So even though it's a foundation stick, you can see it's literally working just as well as a cream contour and kind of like bronzer to warm up my face and chisel it out. I wasn't worried about this part of the challenge. I thought it would be more of a challenge to do my eyeshadow with foundations, but it actually looks really good. So the contour and bronzing is looking great. We even have a highlight going like, just like on its own cause my face is getting really oily. We're gonna have to set it, but let's try and do a little bit of a blush. I'll just do something that you can kind of bronze with. I don't know, maybe I'll use that bronzer shade like, oh no, that's too much, that's too much. I just threw it all away. I threw it all in the toilet. I mean, like it's giving us some color, but I didn't really want to bronze the apples in my cheeks. That actually kind of looks like it could be blush. So, I mean, I guess it's working. Wow, this is turning out to be more of like a hack than a challenge because I'm feeling the way it's looking. Okay, so I'm basically done the whole face. I do want to set like immediately because I can't stand the sight of my oily face right now. So I'm going to set everything into place and see what the finished product looks like after that. Time to do lips. I almost forgot to do lips. It can all go wrong here. We can take a term for the worst or it could still be pretty dope. Let's see, what should we use? I mean, it's all foundation, does it really matter? I'm gonna use two shades, one kind of as like a lip liner and then the other to put in the center. So going back in with that Tarte foundation. No, it's a little too light. Maybe this sh medium neutral shade, let's see. Yeah, that's that's better. This feels so weird. It's just like, eh. Kind of reminds me of high school when I would just purposely do concealer lips, you know? So it's not that bad. <laughs> just feels weird. Now that my lips are basically the same shade as my face, let's go in with like tan sand shade and try and do like a ombre thing. No, that is not what I had in mind. Let's do a little bit of darker color. Okay, maybe, come on. Let's let's do a little bit of a lip liner here. I don't really know how I feel about this. This is definitely not what I meant to do, but 
we're gonna go with it. This is actually a really nice shade for like a lip liner. Okay, just mixing like three shades here to try and make some sort of nude and I think it's working. All right, you guys. So this is my full face using all foundations. I thought this was gonna be a total disaster and it wasn't. It actually kind of inspired me and made me think like if you can do your full face using only foundations, you can really be resourceful with doing your makeup routine. We created this like super bronzy, kind of glowy, neutral makeup look and I am here for it. Yes to full face foundation 2018. The only thing is with a full face of like foundation, your eyes and stuff probably will end up creasing because it is a liquid or like a cream consistency and that is not really gonna last on your lips. Same with the lips. Like I feel like foundation just won't last long on your lips and brows. You can probably swipe that baby right off if you were to just go whoop, you know? And even though I wasn't feeling like the reddish color, I think far away looking at the overall picture, you know, my whole face, the brows don't look that bad. I want you guys to try this out because I honestly feel like you're gonna be surprised. I hope you guys got a kick out of this video. Let me know down below if you have any other challenges you want me to try out. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't lose me in the internet world. You can come back and watch some more videos, but check out these if you haven't seen them yet. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Mm -hmm. With my foundation lips. Mm -hmm. Bye.